So I'm going to pass the mic, so to speak, to my colleague, Eric Steer, TJ's Director of College Counseling. Um, what Eric has to tell you about his work with students across all grades will, I think, really snap into focus the fact that at TJ, uh, Matt used the word holistic. I tend to use the word, um, uh, describe it as being three, 360 degrees, right? College prep is, is a 360 degree um, experience. It doesn't just, um, it doesn't just uh, speak to the academic preparation that I've tried to describe. It also includes the ways that we support, support students' personal growth into confident, independent, young leaders um, ready for the next stage of their education, which is where Eric helps them get. So take it away, Eric. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you so much, Jane. Um, yeah, new, new this year and I, coming into TJ, I am presented with such an extraordinary opportunity because as Matt mentioned, TJ is a school that's different than every other school and it presents an opportunity in college counseling to do some really extraordinary things. Um, from the academic program, one thing I can always be sure of is that our students are ready for the next step. They're more than ready. Our, our students uh, are, are remarkable in their academic achievement and in the way that they're prepared in their academic areas. And we have so many advantages in terms of our size, in terms of being able to harness the, that, those one-on-one -on -one connections and, and, and the guidance and mentorship that you can have in a small school environment like we have. And what that helps facilitate in terms of college counseling is we get to really know the young people that we work with, understand their skills, what's motivating them, and, and, and help them find pathways to success in the world beyond TJ. So in a way, as a college counselor, I have the greatest, uh, I have, I have the greatest grounds with which to build a, 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 a program. And our students are already going to, to um, to really great fitting institutions. So coming into college counseling in 2022, uh, 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 this, is, uh, this is what my colleagues are calling the year of the deferral. Uh, the college admissions uh, hysteria has, is showing no signs of abating in terms of how much more difficult it's becoming to get into the highly selective institutions that students like ours are aspiring to, uh, but as, as as a school like TJ with our size and the other advantages we have, there are things that we have been doing to make sure that our students are best, uh, best situated for success in that process. Um, just a, one, one example from this previous year is over 50% of the classes at a lot of the highly selective institutions that our school, our students are applying to are being filled through early application pathways, uh, which, which really puts onus on us to really have these college conversations earlier and more substantially throughout a student's uh, high school career. And that's something that, that, we, that we have been developing this year. Uh, our, our seniors this year took advantage in large part of those higher, uh, of those early application pathways we had um, we had 12 of our 12 of our 17 seniors apply through early application through early decision, um, and over half of them were finished with their with their application process before regular decision even returned. So right now, in February of 2022, we have over 70 percent of our seniors into college, and we haven't even heard from regular decision. But what really excites me, especially in joining a, 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 in TJ, is the geographic diversity with which our students are looking at these opportunities. Uh, our students have applied from California to Maine. Uh, 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 we have students applying to Canada and the UK. And it strikes me as one of the peculiar advantages of a school like TJ is that we are able to support those kind of global pathways. Um, uh, this year, we have a student heading to Penn, University of Pennsylvania, also through early decision. And for the first time, I think in, in quite a few years, a student heading to read uh, natural sciences at the University of Cambridge. One of the things that strikes me 
as uh, an area where Thomas Jefferson can really uh, 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 bat above its weight, so to speak, as a small school with perhaps not located in New England, perhaps not with 200 graduating seniors, is the opportunity to emphasize these individual pathways of global opportunities um, uh, uh, to help our students have the resources to make this happen. We also implemented this year a college counseling platform called SCORE. Uh, SCORE helps students research universities and manage this whole application process from grade nine all the way up until uh, actually from grade eight all the way up until when they graduate. So it helps us log this entire conversation where they it, it pairs with an aptitude assessment where they're they are developing those uh, uh understandings of their skills their values um what what's important to them and how to harness that in the college search process along the way parents are able to be a part of that conversation they see the college lists take shape before their eyes meetings af uh, notes after every meeting so that Every step of the way, that communication um, that that communication continues. Even actually, right after one of my main goals of coming in is as well was to maintain that uh, that consistent communication with families. Right after this meeting, I have one of my monthly parent counselor coffee chats where parents of juniors and sophomores and freshmen come, and we well now we meet on Zoom and. We uh, well, I, ha I have my I have my coffee, but I'm afraid it'll be de decaf, so I can be ready for uh, a senior English class tomorrow. But um, uh, uh, these are great opportunities where we are, you know, really interfacing with the community, understanding what parents want, what students want in this process, and making sure uh, we we can help make it happen. Um, uh, working with faculty, like like we do, where our our faculty members like Mrs. Roth, Mr. Roth, they're not, they're not just teaching English. Mr. Roth is coaching, coaching basketball. We are really getting to know the young people we work with, which helps us be able to advocate for our students as they go through the college application process. Um, if anybody's, uh, uh, if anybody has ever read a Boaz Roth letter of recommendation. It is a literary treat in its own right and distinctive. I think even I, I'm 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 sure that university admissions offices, as they read these uh, uh, recommendations, they 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 wonder at the great minds at Thomas Jefferson School. Um, but our size and location gives us certain advantages, but it also makes it necessary to be a little bit scrappy in this process as well, in terms of making sure that hey. How do we stay on the radar of the highly selective institutions being located in St. Louis and, and at, at, at our size? And part of that is going to conferences, taking advantage of these counselor tours. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll be heading to Boston to meet with uh, uh, college admissions offices and do some counselor tours. Uh, I was in Seattle earlier to meet with other college admissions professionals, and I'll be presenting at a, uh, a conference in the summer in Albuquerque, also of college admissions officers. These events are crucial for me and for me able to be able to filter the trends in the landscape of higher education and make sure that we are responding in kind with strategies that are going to serve our students. Um, it's also a way to make sure that we have those connections to be able to advocate for our students through this process. Um, so lots of exciting, lots of exciting things developing the college counseling program and Again, this is not just about getting our students into college. This is about preparing them to thrive and excel once they're there. So this process has a lot to do with understanding our skills, how to make the most of, of the college process. We've had speakers now come in. We have a senior seminar and a junior seminar every week where we have speakers. Many of the weeks come in to talk about how do you make the use, how do you make use of a careers center at university? Basic financial literacy, literacy skills taught by the director of finance here at Thomas Jefferson School. We've, uh, we've been joined by college professors talking about what it's like to study engineering, how to make use of engineering, different kinds of engineering programs at university. So really harnessing those members of the community to make sure that our students not only know how to get into the top colleges, but to excel once they're there. Um, so th thank you very much, uh, uh, um, Jane and Steve. I'm going to pass this back over 
back, back over to Steve. But before I do so, I just want to thank you guys, uh, uh, the donors and everybody who is as invested in this community as we are. Um, uh, I can't tell you how exciting it is to see these programs take shape. And also, selfishly, as a college counselor, I just get so excited thinking about all of, all of my juniors and seniors and all of the destinations that they're being prepared for. Um, and where they'll be two, three, five, ten 10 years down the line. So thank you guys. Over to you, Steve. 